and then it's coated with a uh, actual fire blockage coating. The, as you notice here, I can actually burn the surface of the block. And it doesn't melt. And it doesn't melt. There is no, nor is there any flame propagation. So, and it's the same basic modified material, which also has a modification to reduce flame propagation. You can see the fire, or the melts right there. actually burns. How can I incorporate that into my plan? Okay, the process is a very simple process of the standard basic operation of the uh, EPS plan, where you have pre-expansion. Okay. You have pre-expansion storage. Okay. Okay, and that would be your normal function of any EPS plan. Okay. Once you pass this point of pre-expansion and everything, the bead is aged and ready for actual production. At this point, we actually run it through our mixing station, which actually applies the fire rated material to the actual EPS, so it fully coats the EPS. Okay. Through this process, you actually add the liquid to the top. Okay, you have tumbling stations here, which mix the liquid onto the material and thoroughly coat the material. Once the material is thoroughly coated, it's dropped into a drying bed. The drying bed is a heated drying bed where you're able to actually completely prep the material for molding. At that point, the material can be transferred into the bags, your storage silos for your mold itself. Okay. Now, the mold is a special mold although the block mold side of it is, is virtually the same as any standard block mold. The actual mixing hopper on the top makes sure that the, the actual material stays in a fluidized state, meaning that the material will stay to individual beads versus becoming clumps. That makes it easy to fill the block mold and actually mold the block product. Once, and it goes through standard cycle in the block mold. Once through the block mold and everything, the actual fire rated material is all ready and it's actually in block form. You can store it anywhere throughout the plant. We have elongated storage, automated storage and everything. And this is actually only a 47,000 square foot layout plant to on the amount of area that's, that you that's can actually That's a small use. footprint. Yes. The cutting can be done in standard method with hot wire, but it has to be include oscillating wire. Okay. With oscillating wire, we also pick up speed of cut. And so through heating and oscillating wires, the actual speed of cut and everything gives us a same throughput as standard EPS block. Okay. Would be expanded to half pound density. Okay. So you would double pass the material to a half pound density, then you would add the coating to it. What you would wind up with in a finished product will be a one pound density or a UL established block. Okay. And now what would be the difference between the two colors that we're seeing here? The difference in colors would represent density. The standard coloring or the standard use in China is 32 gram per liter or what we would call two pounds. Okay, the standard use in Korea is 38 gram per liter or it would be two and a quarter pound density. EPS definitely has its advantages as an insulation, but the disadvantages of the flammability. I've never seen an application like this before and I'm very excited to use this in my opinion.